What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness Daily News Reviews and together with me Kill some pain, riot pre-workout It's a riot people Listen, I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing This is not a very long label But you wanna stay tuned for this one And then I'm gonna share with you my personal experience using this one over the last week or so And then towards the end of the video As usual on this channel I'm gonna give you my unbiased freaking opinion on who is this one for? When should you use it? Should you use it? Should you give a shit? Let's get right into it! Okay guys, so Chaos and Pain has been really popular on the channel and on the fitness deal news deal site recently. Just a great company doing a lot of good stuff with a lot of great formulas and really good value for money. And you know, we're a deal site, so we have a lot of deals coming from Chaos and Pain. Really good stuff. I reviewed their Hypnos. Sleep formula, I think that was the first thing I reviewed from them, really love it, still use it, use it all the time, really like it, it's one of these moderate sleep formulas that you can actually use quite often and it delivers. I reviewed their uh, Red Sky Fat Burner Hard Hitting Motherfucker Full Service 3 Capsules, I, can, I still can't take 3 capsules, like that, this shit, oh my god. Anyway, check out these two reviews, they're below. I also reviewed one of their gaming nootropic formulas, really really like that one, also gonna link to that review below, it's really it's a, one of these nootropics again that you can take every day and sit down and do some work or actually game, which is what it is supposed to do. Anyway, all of these reviews are gonna be below. Okay people, so Chaos and Pain, they have two pre-workouts, this is one of them and relatively when you look at the formula here, it is, it is short, I mean how many ingredients, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven active ingredients. Seven. It's not a lot, right? It's a simple formula. 10 grams, 30 servings, which I like. 30 servings. And let's look at what it has. So it has beta alanine at 3.2 grams, right? So that's tingling and supposedly to help you with endurance, but we mostly care about the tingling. If you don't like the beta alanine tingling, one, even before I tell you about the experience, you should leave this video because you're not a friend of mine. We like tingling here. And you're going to hear about the experience in a second. Anyway, L-citrulline at 2 grams, that's going to help you with pumps. So that's below what's considered clinical dose of 3 grams. And acetyl at 500 milligrams, so that's supposed to help you with mental focus. And then you have caffeine at 350 milligrams. I actually like caffeine at 350 milligrams. It's not too much, right? And if you can get a pre-workout to work with 300, 350 milligrams, and even below, I don't give a shit. I don't need to see some, like some of my favorite pre-workouts have 600 milligrams of caffeine, but some of my favorite pre-workouts have also 250 milligrams of caffeine. And if you can get a pre-workout to feel good, to get you through the workout with less, as less caffeine as possible, as as anything as possible. If this was a one-line fucking label and it worked, all the power to them. Anyway, so uh, caffeine at 350 milligrams. Then they have Vaso 6 at 300 milligrams. So that's the clinical dose of Vaso 6. It's one of my favorite new age pump ingredient. It actually works. I like what Vaso 6 does. It helps with pumps. It helps with vascularity. It helps with everything. One of the best ingredients out there. Probably second best ingredient or as good as citrulline male. Probably, you know what? I had Vaso 6 by itself and it worked. So that's a great ingredient. So that's gonna add on into this two, two grams of citrulline, of citrulline. And by the way, this is one of these things, you know, when people say, hey, clinical dose for citrulline is three grams, it is when it's measured by itself. There's no one that does, what does this thing look like in a lab or in research when you combine all this shit together. So, I mean, I like clinical doses, but we shouldn't get subscribed to them too much, right? Anyway, so then you have glucuronolactone, a 200 milligrams, so that's one of these, uh, I would say ancillary energy ingredients and 200 milligrams is quite a lot so that's supposed to help with the rest of the stimulants like caffeine mostly in this case and the focus ingredients and help get, get, get that energy longer for a longer period of time people. And then you have 20 milligrams of isopropinor synephrine, which is the more bioavailable form of synephrine. I love that form of synephrine. 20 milligrams is a good amount for this one, even though sometimes when it's only synephrine, you see 50 milligrams, 60 milligrams, 20 milligrams for this version is really good. And that's gonna help you with increasing your body temperature, increasing your energy, and just the feeling of doing shit. Anyway, so it's a simple formula, people. The label here is not like one of these crazy DMHA, DMAA, aryogenesis, whatever, right? PEA formula. Really, really simple formula. Not a lot, but you know what we say here on the fucking channel. Labels are just fucking labels. And that's a scientific fact. We don't give a shit what's written on the label. 
unless it says, hey, this is heroin and codeine and whatever, right? So let's get into the actual experience because this is what matters here. Okay, people, so let's start with the flavor and be really quick about it because this is a fucking pre-workout. You're not supposed to sip through it during the day. So this is gummy bear. The one that I have is gummy bear. I think they have a lot of other flavors there. It's an okay flavor. It does have a bit of an, a chemical aftertaste, but nothing that you can take if you're a real man or a woman or whatever. You came to lift. Just sip it. It's okay. It's fine. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say that I don't give a flying fuck about the scales of flavors in pre-workouts. Anyway. Let's get into the experience. So listen, guys, we, I had no, and this is sometimes even myself, even though I know labels are fucking labels. I get, I look and I say, eh, how good can this be? Let me tell you something, people. Something here hits different, really different. Like first things first, this shit gets you moving literally five minutes after you take it. I, I, this is one of the more fast acting pre-workouts I ever had. And the tingling, if you don't like tingling, don't buy Kills and Pain Riot. Seriously, don't buy it. Cannibal Riot. Because the tingling is so intense. I actually went back to check the label to see if they actually have niacin in this. Because it almost felt like... It, this is one of the most powerful 3.2 grams of beta-alanine I ever tried in a pre-workout. It's like you sit there, you sip it, you sit, you want to tie your shoes, like happened to me today. Five minutes after, boom, the tingling starts and you want to move. So, so that's one, number one, I just warn you, if you like tingling like me, you're going to love this experience because like literally five minutes into it, they actually say take it 15 to 20 minutes before workout. Listen, people, five minutes, you're going to start tingling and you, you don't want to move, right? This, this is, which brings me to the second piece, like the energy effect is actually very, listen, guys, I like this feels nothing like what you would think on the label here. This hits fast. It hits hard you want to move. This is one of these pre-workouts that you can't sit still. There's no way, there's no way in fucking hell you're going to sit still. No way. This, the, and it's amazing. Like, right, you look at the list of ingredients here and you don't expect necessarily this to happen. But this shit hits fast, hard, and gets you moving. And you're going to keep moving for a couple of hours, which I really, really fucking like. Really like. I actually, listen guys, I so enjoyed this pre-workout. This is, again, a scientific proof, people. Labels are just fucking labels. If you're one of these little girls or little boys that see a label and you say, oh my God, it has 500 different ingredients, this must be good. No, no, labels are just fucking labels and Cannibal Riot is a great example of that. The label is very simple. This shit hits hard. Fast and it's gonna get you going and it doesn't have a lot of stimulants so you don't burn your adrenal gland you don't burn your system you can actually take this every day and still feel like man this shit will get you fucking moving tingling really fast energy consistent for a couple of hours no side effects no no you don't lose your breath your heartbeat doesn't go up i did feel the thermogenesis in the body like you feel i don't have to say it you're not sweating but you feel hot like you feel at least hotter, right? <laughs> like it's it's just a good sense of it's just a good sense of urgency. Good sense of fucking urgency. You can't sit down, you can't slack around writing text. You're gonna work out. I really like what this thing brings. Now, focus is really good. There's not really mood elevation. I wouldn't say this is a mood elevation, jumping around, happy pre-workout. There's no mood elevation. Energy productive sense of urgency sense of fucking urgency moving around and here's here's the way i look at this shit if you're concerned just like me that you're taking too much shit just taking too much shit that would get you you know burn your system down and every time you take it you're gonna need more and more and more and then you're getting to this point that these crazy ass stimulant pre-workouts don't work for you anymore you need to cycle off this shit so you need something that doesn't have so much of that stuff so you can actually you know use them once a week or whatever and actually enjoy them this shit is one of the best I've tried with a simple formula with not a lot of stimulant. You have 350 milligrams of caffeine here, plus a couple of other ancillary stimulants, but 350 milligrams of caffeine, that's it. It's like a bit more than a bag energy and this shit hits amazing. As far as the pumps, I actually enjoy them. These are good pumps. You're going to get pumped. You're going to get vascular. These are above, way above average pumps with a super simple formula. Vaso 6 for me just works. 
might work for you. I assume it will. Really nailed it. Definitely one of my favorite, favorite EDPs, everyday pre-workouts. One of my favorite everyday pre-workouts, definitely something you can, if, you, if you're one of these, you like these exotic pre-workouts that get you mood elevated and all that shit, but you don't want to burn your system down, guys, you're going to enjoy this. And I'm a steam junkie and I still feel it and you can't sit around doing nothing. Really, really like this pre-workout. Listen, people, as far as you can get it, Chaos and Pain website. I'm going to link below to the page on Fitness D News where we have the latest Chaos and Pain deals. There's always something running around where you can save money. And uh, usually sometimes we have BOGO freeze, we have a couple things. Anyway, so also the value for money is really, is really good. It's just good with Chaos and Pain. Really like what this company is doing. Really good guys, good formulas. Really nailed it with Riot. I'm going to link below to the page on Fitness Deal News. Listen, people. If this review of Chaos and Pain, Riot, was helpful in your pre-workout decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. If